The market assumption seems to be that we're going to have a quite stimulative fiscal policy, and I don't know that that should be taken as a given. Yeah, I know. I, do you ever get the feeling that we're taking the details of Trump's policy much more seriously than he is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I kind of feel like he wakes up in the morning and says, yeah, today I think I want to cut taxes. And we all rush to the think tanks in our Excel spreadsheets and we say, you can do this. Well, maybe you can. Well, if you tweak this, the next morning he wakes up and says, ah, scratch that. In fact, I remember, in fact, very shortly after he rolled out his first tax plan, he started negotiating with himself, which, you know, as you're, <laughs> uh, you're saying earlier on, Jerry, that you can just throw it well, all the tools. And over the course of the campaign, the net deficit impact of that plan went from $10 trillion to $5 trillion just overnight one day in September. So. Yeah, but it was actually several days before they actually changed their advertisements to actually show the updated <laughs> yeah, one. I mean, the point is that uh, this is a guy who is not particularly wedded to the details of anything. And uh, when Steve Mnuchin went on television uh, the day after his nomination was announced and said, you know, we're gonna, there's going to be no absolute tax cut for the upper um, uh, for the upper, upper income groups, a lot of people said, well, here's Trump's tax plan. You can't do that. I don't think they get it. I don't think they <laughs> understand that Trump is basically say, he's going to go to Congress. He's going to say to his cabinet, go out there and cut taxes. Okay, show me something that I can you know, sell to the people. And I do believe that the market, uh, I do believe that those who think that we're getting like a $4 trillion tax cut over the next 10 years are way, way ahead of themselves. I don't think, I think that the uh, uh, the Congress is actually shooting for something whose net impact, once you take in the dynamic scoring benefits, is somewhere well south of two trillion. Probably, I'd hazard a guess around one trillion. And that's before any offsets on the spending side. So, if you're penciling in anything more than say a quarter of a percentage point in growth over the next few years, I think you're being too optimistic. All that said, Jerry, I'm not convinced that that is the main reason the market is rallying now. I think the main reason the market is rallying is this combination of like this revival of animal spirits and anticipation of lower corporate tax Which rates. Which has got as much to do with deregulation as anything else. Mm -hmm.